Hey guys, today I'll show you how to solve this 4x4 Rubik's Cube. Now you should already know how to solve this 3x3 Rubik's Cube. If you don't, make sure you learn it. Check out my video up here and hit the link in the description for my tutorial on how to solve this because it's very important. This is a base foundation for solving big cubes like the 5x5, 6x6, 7x7, and even bigger for let's say the 17 by 17 in the future if you want to get this far. If you have any questions on how to solve this, make sure you comment below and make sure you smash that like button if you found this tutorial useful and you figured out how to solve this Rubik's Cube. Now let's get into this tutorial. All right, so just like the three by three, there's the white, blue, orange, red, green, and the yellow side. In the three by three tutorial, you had the U, U prime, and the R, R prime notations for these algorithms. And it's the exact same for the four x four, U, U prime, R, R prime. You have this UW, which turns two layers. So UW, UW prime, RW, RW prime, LW, LW prime, and etc. So you turn two layers if there is a W following the notation. Now let's scramble this cube up. Let me show you what the step looks like overall. First, I'll get the white center, then the yellow center, and then all six centers will be solved. Then all the edges will have been paired up. There are 12 total edges. And then I solve it just like a three by three. First, I want to start with the white center. I see that there's two white dots. So I want to start connecting blocks, two by one block. So if I turn it like this, they won't match. So what I do need, turn one piece. So when I turn it up, to turn this layer up, this will have this two by one block I was talking about. And uh, once I have that, I'll make another two by one block with the white piece. I can connect this white piece, move it up just like that. And it will be a block, but it, it does disconnect that piece, that block already made. So what I want is twist the top layer so it, it's vertical. So when I move this piece up, it will not break up this block. So now there's one block right here and one block right here. Now to connect them, I want to move one so that it faces like that and then just simply connect them like that. Now onto the yellow center. I see one piece there, one piece there. I can simply match it. Turning this side won't mess up the white piece and then the white will be on the bottom. If I want to move that up to the top layer, which it belongs, uh, it messes up the white center piece, but I can do so if I move it up, turn the top layer twice, put it back down, the white will still be intact. And I'll have this two by one block on the top layer. And there's another piece. If I turn it like that, it won't match up. So I move one of them like, so and then turn the left side up so that the two by one yellow block is made the white is still intact i want to get that piece on top but if i do i mess up the white center again and i can't seem to put it on top so what i do i make the yellow blocks vertical so next to each other and then turn it two side up and then I'll get the white and yellow center. So once the white and yellow centers are done, I want to put the white and yellow centers on the side. I can turn the outer layer any way I want so it doesn't mess up the white and yellow center. So let's say I want to go for the blue side since I already have this two by one block. Uh, I don't want it horizontal, I want it vertical. So then when I turn the two layers at once, it will still be intact like that. So I find a piece right there, top left corner, and the top left corner for that. I want to make sure they're like that. So when I turn this up, this two by one block is formed and that is still intact. So I can simply turn it and connect it. White and yellow is still intact and blue center is solved. Now from those three by three, I can see that red is on top, right on top of the blue center. So this side will be the red side. So I want to build the red side two by one block. So if I do that, this blue center get messed up. I can do this by turning the red block to the side and then putting the blue center back down. So the two by one red block is made. I want to move it to this side. So what I do, I 
turn it like that turn that twice and then put the blue center back so now there's one two by one block for the red another one this is diagonal each other what I want to do is take out the red centerpiece to another layer and then turn it twice move that piece back up so it preserves the blue center and then I want to connect this those two pieces so move one layer like that and then put it up turn and there's another two by one red block let's move this red block to this side make sure it is right next to each other on top and then two layers to the side and boom red and blue centers are done I see I have two by one block center green center already made but the other block is not made so what I can do move this piece out of the way bring it down to the green center turning it twice and then I can match it up with this lonely green piece on top move it to the side and then put it back down now I can finally bring this 2x1 block green to the green center and then it automatically solves the last center which is the orange center. In one scenario there could be diagonal. What I can do is move the green piece up, turn the top layer and then put it back down and now you have a 2x1 block and a lonely piece and that can be matched up. Move it up and then I can do that but I can just put the green block there so when I move the layer back down the green solves and the orange solves automatically. The next step is to make these edges. Red, so I see this red and white piece and one right here, one right here. I want to move this to the same layer like that so it's directly across from each other horizontally. You don't want two on the top or two on the bottom if you do, you can just simply move it out of the way to the top layer or bottom layer and then put it back and then you rotate it back to that layer. And notice how if I just move the outer layers, it won't mess up the centers at all. Now I have the red and white. I can turn two layers and mash them together so they connect and move it either to the top or bottom layer. So if I move it to the top layer, I have to replace another piece and then move that layer back down before unslicing the center, the middle centers. So now I have the red and white. I keep doing this for all the centers. And this is red and yellow. One right here and then I want to get this to the same face horizontally right across from each other. So when I make this middle slice, it connects the two pieces like that. And then I move it to the top layer, bring an unsolved piece in place put the layer back down and then unslice it. Sometimes there may be a finished edge piece in the middle layer, but when you slice it, it gets messed up. You replace the piece with the new piece and then when you unslice it, it gets put back together like that. So you don't have to worry about that. An another scenario may be if you have two edges and then you look at the top layer, they're all solved edges. You look at the bottom, they're all solved. There should be one in the middle layer. You can just move that up. So when you do slice it, this will be the piece, the edge to replace like that. Now you should either have all the edge solved or you could have two remaining edge that are left. If you have two remaining edge, you want them on the same layers. What you want to do is have them both on the front face. You are going to do this algorithm. DW, R, F prime, U, R prime, F, D, W prime. And that will connect all the edges and you will have all 12 edges solved. Green and white piece, it will correspond to the green and white edge on a three by three and etc. Now you will just solve it like a normal three by three Rubik's cube. First two layers done. Now there are two kinds of parodies that you will have to remember. One of them is the OLL parody. You could either have one or three yellow edges that are finished. You put this on the front layer and then with this algorithm it will flip that edge piece. RW2, B2, U2, LW, U2, RW prime, U2, RW, U2, 
F2, RW, F2, LW prime, B2, RW2. And that flipped the yellow and red edges. Now as you solve the last layer, if there's two corner pieces that are flipped, a small R means turn only the middle right layer. So this algorithm is a small R2, U2, small R2, UW2, small R2, UW2. And that should fix it. And in this case, we have a T perm. There could be two edges next to each other or across from each other. And you would do this algorithm from any side and it will basically reduce the parity and you will be able to solve it just like a normal 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Thank you for watching this video. I also posted my 2x2, my 3x3 tutorial. Hopefully my 5x5 tutorial will be coming out soon. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll respond to them as soon as possible and I will help you solve your first 4x4 Rubik's Cube. Let me know if you want me to post any other videos. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more fun puzzle content. And I'll catch you guys later.